So um, now on our scene, we have these uh, groups, okay? And uh, you probably don't have the error light. This just came here because I was, uh, I created it now. Okay, and we have here on the channel, in the layer editor, we have a bunch of uh, layers, okay? So uh, the space layer, I'm gonna keep on visible. And right now I'm gonna turn on the um, Skyrim layer. And in my outliner, I'm gonna open the daylight and the skylight uh, light portal. So I'm sorry if I wrote skylight, that's probably because I'm thinking in, in um, V-Ray. Okay, it's a Skyrim. So, uh, all right, so here on the skylight and portals, you see that I have a Skyrim and I have uh, five, por uh, five portals. And this is because uh, in my scene, uh, by the way, this is by no means a properly modeled space. This doesn't have, it doesn't even have uh, glass. I just did it this way so that I have some holes and some scene, okay? That's it. Um, so if you see, I have my sky dome here, okay? And I have in each window, I have the sky portals. So, uh, what is a sky portal? If I select the sky portal and I go to my attributes, I don't really have light settings. That's the first thing I notice, okay? My sky portal is here in the Arnold tab. It's this one that looks like a sky dome, basically because every time I create a sky dome, it's automatically linked to the sky, uh, sorry, every time I create a sky portal, a light portal, it's automatically linked to the sky dome, okay? So I don't really have to link it. In other softwares, you do have to link it. Okay, you have to link those sky, those light portals to whatever light source. Here is automatically linked. And I don't have attributes, that's the first thing I notice. If I open my light lister, it's not there, okay? So what is the light portal actually doing? It's just indicating that the light from the sky dome is just gonna be calculated here, 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 and here, and, and also here. Okay, that's what it's doing, because otherwise I'm calculating the light rays, whatever my camera is, coming from everywhere. So that's what's causing so much noise. My light portals are not giving me any light whatsoever if there's no sky dome. They are actually not giving me any light. That's why I cannot increase or decrease intensity. The whole thing is coming from my sky dome, and I'm just using them to constrain the amount of rays and the computations and the noise, okay? So if I want to create a, a, a sky dome, I, I click here on the sky portal. Right now it's, it's small. That's uh, indicating me the orientation of the sky dome, which obviously I want to be to the inside. Okay, I, I can arrange this properly here on the channel box. Make sure it fits my window back there. Best thing is that it fits my window as best as possible. So, the, I mean, the smallest and the more that it fits, the less bleeding of ray lights I have, okay? Now, if I uh, check on my uh, sky dome, uh, how do I define the intensity and exposure of my, of my light, okay? If I don't have, right now I have an HDRI from the link I actually gave you, uh, and it's a 2K HDRI, so I for sure should put this in 2000 if I want to see the resolution on my window, if I don't, if I just want the light, then I don't care. So the exposure and intensity, they depend on which HDRI I have. Okay, I have other light is, okay? So this exposure value here is fake because lights don't have exposure, but it allows you to multiply this. So you can either move it on exposure, which is gonna expose the whole thing, not just your light, okay? But this is something that you cannot just say for sure. I mean, you can always start with one, and then move it up and down, okay? But it really depends on your HDRI. What I suggest is that you take your HDRIs from the same source all the time, so that at least you have, you always work around the same values. Okay, and uh, let's just render this. And uh, what you see is the light coming from out there, and my HDRI is actually not a super clear sky, so that's okay. But what if I want more bouncers coming in? If I want less noise, I increase the samples. For sure, one sample is never enough. Okay, I can put three. I'm not gonna do it right now. 
So here in visibility in indirect light, that's when I, where I increase the number of bounces. Okay, but this is not linear. Now let's increase the indirect light to five. And honestly, I'm just gonna put it in 50 because otherwise uh, our class is gonna take too long. Okay, so it looks crappy, but because it's 50% resolution, okay? Just keep that in mind. I just want you to look at the light. That's with five samples, okay? Let's put it up to 10 and render. Okay, so, and let's take one with 15 to show you the difference. And because uh, we are bouncing the colors of everything that's around us, okay? But this purple color on the wall is just not realistic, okay? It's way too, too much purple. It looks like I actually have a purple light. So the more bounces I have, the more I'm gonna have this color bleeding. And you, you have to account for that, okay? So if we compare right now the light, this is with, this is with no, uh, like one sample, five samples, 10 samples, 15. This is not, this is not, uh, this is not three times more than this one. Definitely not, okay? That's what I mean when I'm talking about linear. And the comparison between this one and that one, I can probably make it by actually increasing the intensity or the exposure a little bit. So I'm gonna take this down to five. Okay, and I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit to maybe, um, one and it's just really one value okay and I'm achieving something very similar to the 15 bounces okay so this is with five uh, indirect rays and one of exposure and this is with 15 uh, and zero exposure okay and what you see this already looks a lot more realistic okay because when you actually, I mean, as long as you see this, you might think, no, okay, this looks realistic. But when you compare it with this, this looks more realistic. Why? Because it feels like there's too much brown light coming from the ground, okay? Whether here, my light is actually more coming from the window, okay? These are the kind of things that you have to think about. So I would first start by putting it on five indirect rays Try a little bit with intensity and exposure and then move your values, okay? And now let's try erasing all my light portals. And even though this is 50% resolution, you're going to see the difference on noise and how long it takes to render, especially on the darker areas. So this is with light portals and this is without light portals. And even though it's 50%, it is quite obvious the difference, okay? And if you consider this a larger scene, because this is a really small image, the amount of time this is gonna take computing because it's just throwing rays everywhere, it's gonna be forever. So this logic of using the sky dome and light portals, it's actually a combination that you use also in global illumination softwares. So you can just follow the same logic. It's just that the difference is that, well, it doesn't use intensity and exposure, but it have other values.